Hello, this is Jim Matthews from GlassHoppa.com. In the last segment, I told you about the remarkable new friction hooks that open up a whole new world of hanging glass art in windows. Hanging on walls is challenging, too, because glass doesn't frame as naturally as pictures do. It often isn't uniform or even flat. And it's heavy. Fortunately, brilliant minds have blessed us with any number of solutions. This is the best system I know of. It's versatile, attractive, and very well made. But it can get expensive. I can't always justify that for work where price can make or break a sale. So I'm going to show you a simple, cheap, and effective homemade solution that's never let me down. The trend is standoff mounting, creating a space behind the art that lifts it away from the wall and allows light to both penetrate and reflect. Here are some cast glass pieces that have been hanging here for over a year. They're 11 inches wide, half an inch thick, and weigh nearly six pounds a piece. And this is clear acrylic square tubing, available for most plastic suppliers. These days, it sells for less than two bucks a foot. Check the blog for sources. I took a length of acrylic tubing with a hole drilled in the center and glued it to the back of the glass along with a spacer to maintain a constant distance from the wall. Since these are so heavy, I used as long a piece of acrylic as possible to provide more surface area for bonding. Here's a piece I made as a gift. It's 11 inches tall, about 7 inches wide, weighs less than 2 pounds. Fairly lightweight. It won't need any more than, say, 4 inches of hanger space. You can cut this stuff with a hacksaw, which I did plenty of times before trying the tile saw. That works much better and burns fewer of those precious cookie calories that keep me warm this time of year. Drill a pilot hole on your mark with a small drill bit. Mine is 1 16th inch. Then, if you're using everyday drill bits, increase the diameter in small increments and drill nice and slow. Better yet, invest in a drill bit that's meant for acrylic. Maybe another eight to 10 bucks. My final hole is 3 8 inch, about nine millimeter. To position the tubing, I find the center of my piece and mark it, and then find the center of the tube, mark that, match up the marks, make sure I'm on a straight line, and then trace where the hanger will be placed. E6000 works well for this application. Read the instructions and heed them. They'll tell you to apply a thin film of adhesive to both surfaces, then wait two to ten minutes for the material to become tacky before making the bond. Then clamp them or weight them down. Leave them for 24 hours for a full cured set. And there we go. Very secure. Of course, I can't offer you any guarantees, but I've made numerous wall pieces in the last few years with this system applied, and as far as I know, they're still all intact and perfectly functional. When I need elegance and sophistication, I know where to get it. But sometimes I'm just a glass hopper, and this simple solution is the perfect fit. That'll do it!